three four seven. You are live with Lucario and Miles. Name Agent City, and did you donate though? What's going on, yo? Uh, I donated. Yo, yo, what's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> what's up? What's going on? Yo, what's up, man? You, you just finished beating off. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> he stood there. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, what did I just call into? What's going on, call? You still here? What's up? What's up? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, man. I got, I got, I got a uh, question. Um, I'm in a situation mm-hmm. with uh, these two girls. Um, one of them was my ex. Uh, we had broke up, and I started dealing with another girl, and she had got pregnant. So I'm just wondering. Uh, wait, wait, wait! Stop, 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 stop. You said she got pregnant. Who? How you mean she just got pregnant? What you talking about? How that? How that happen? Because because bitches just be getting pregnant. They they get pregnant like how they catch a cold, right? Wait, wait, how do you, how do you first? Help yeah, yeah, intercourse, yeah, intercourse. I'm, okay, I'm how old are you? 31. Okay, you sound young as hell. Okay, so, so, so you said that you, you got one girl pregnant and there's another girl you seeing right now? Is that what, that what you said? Yeah, my ex, I broke up with my ex. I'm trying to get back with her. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I got this other girl pregnant with, with my fuck buddy. So I'm trying to figure out how can I get back with my ex and, you know, not deal with that whole situation no more. What's what whole situation you trying not to deal with? The the girl you got pregnant? Yeah, yeah, because he she he wanna keep it and all that. And I ain't trying to I ain't trying to go with that. What, so wait, wait, wait. Okay, first of all, why do you want to get back with your ex? Well, I, I don't know, man. You, you have a future. You know what I'm saying? You have a great connection. Wait, why'd y'all break up? Connection lately. You know? Why'd y'all break up? Uh it, well, she said it was my fault because, like, you know, things wasn't really right. Like, I wasn't really doing the things that she wanted me to do. What? I was doing what I wanted to do. What? So, <laughs> wait, wait. I wasn't making her. How long? How long have you been together? About a year and a half. Okay. And what things she said you wasn't doing that she wanted you to do? Mm-hmm. Like being more romantic and all that. Mm-hmm. Being more romantic. <laughs> Okay, and so and you want to get back with her? Why? Like, why would you want to get back with her? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Let, tell, name, name me something you like to do. <laughs> tell me something in life you like to do. Travel. Okay. Now, would you want to get back with your ex if she said, "Fuck all that traveling shit. I want you to just stay in your city and never go nowhere." Would you want to be with a woman like that? That 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 you know fucking bitches and moans every time you want to go travel? No. Right. So so what I'm saying is you just said your ex said she didn't like that you were doing certain things and she wanted you to do the things she wanted you to do. So that ain't the type of girl you should be with. You see what I'm saying? Like, see, see, see I think you want to get back with your ex because you got your new fuck buddy pregnant and you, you're you like, damn, I don't want to be with the fuck buddy, so I want to be with somebody, so let me get back on my ex. So you're just falling back on your ex right now because you don't want to be with the fuck buddy. Is that right? Uh, man, that's correct. See, that's what I'm saying. So now this is the thing. <laughs> what's, Come on what's, now. It's like, what's your plan with the fuck buddy, though? Like, what's 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 the, what's the situation now? So she's pregnant, and what are you going to do? I'm trying to com- convince, you know what I'm saying? Com- convince her to get the abortion? Who would it how, how how far along is how far along is she? Uh, still new, still new. How far along is she? A month, a month, a month. A month? Hmm. And she did you, did you at least go to the clinic and find out how much it would cost? No. Hmm. <laughs> so, how long you been with this fuck buddy? Uh, about three months. Three months, and you fucking her, you fucking a raw? Yeah, bro. See, guys, yeah, man. this is what we're trying to tell you, man. The title of the show, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, listen, call her. You don't want to get back with your ex. You just want her because you don't want the new chick. That's why you want your ex. So, so scratch that idea. Because from what you said, your ex ain't the type of chick you should be with because she ain't really fucking with you like that. How old is he again? Did he say? He's like 31, right? He's 31, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still fucking with me, but 
it's just that without the sex. It's like a relationship without the sex, basically. Wait, 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 wait. Hold mm-hmm. up. What? 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 No, no, lately. Oh, what? No, no, as a lately. No, a lately. wait, 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 call her, call her. Listen, when I say wait, you don't start talking louder and faster, okay? <laughs> All right? Do you, you understand that? Got you. Okay, when you hear me say wait, you, 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 you do what they call shutting the fuck up, respectfully. Now, who is this one that's not giving you sex lately? My ex. Your ex? And you're trying to get back with her? Yeah. Lately? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Call her, call her, call her, call her. Calm down, calm down, calm down, bro. Do you realize that you're not making any sense? I, I need a confirmation, now. What? I don't know, bro. I don't know, I don't know what to do, man. You, you said confirm, what, confirmation? What are you talking about, confirmation? Why'd you say that word just now? No, because it's like... I don't know. Call it. Call it. Um, all right. Listen, man. Listen, listen, listen. I know, I know, I know the type of situation you're in right now. You, you, you probably feel overwhelmed. You probably feel like you really don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. But see, it's times like this that's gonna that's gonna make you either stronger or you're gonna fold. You mm-hmm. understand? So this is why we try to we, we try our best to tell you guys to protect the seed. Lucario did a song the other day called Protect the King. Mm-hmm. Where he was talking about not fucking these girls raw. And if you go fuck a girl raw, at least have a plan. At least have a conversation about birth control. Did you at least have a conversation about birth control? Yeah, yeah, we did. We did have a conversation. Yeah, all right, so you had a conversation. Was there a plan? Was there a did a plan come from the conversation? Uh, she was like, if I ever get pregnant. No, 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 no. Call her, call her, call her. Listen to me. Listen to me. We have to be practical here. Did it, was there a plan to control birth with the conversation? No. Okay. All right. All right. So we have to. So we have to take. We have to take. We have to take stock and 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 take inventory of the situation and realize where we went wrong as a man. You understand that? Yeah. Okay. Now, will this be your first child? Uh. Yeah. Okay. You're 31 years old. The, the and and she. You spoke to your you spoke to your fuck buddy. Does is she did she at least give any indication on whether or whether she's gonna get rid of it or not? Or was there any conversation as, as far as that went? <clears throat> uh, well, she basically told me that she she's made up her mind. She's gonna keep it. Okay. Like, All right. You know, All right. Okay. Call her. Call her. Call her. How do you, how do you know that is yours? Well, I don't know. Okay. I told her to show me, like show me that you're pregnant, and she started getting angry and upset right well well call her one thing one thing that you definitely need to do is um because you can't force her to get rid of it so if she does have the child you need to get a a, a paternity test you need to make sure 100 percent and get paperwork that the, that the child is actually yours okay right that's the first thing you need to do once the baby's here you understand or if you can if you could go have a have a you know go with her to the doctor's visit and maybe they could do a blood test from from the the uh you know, from the baby inside her or whatever it is. I don't know how it exactly works. But either once the baby gets here or before the baby's born, you have to get a paternity test before you start paying any child support or anything like that. You understand me? Yeah, but, yeah. Okay, so that's, that's one thing that you definitely have to do. Now, moving forward, don't try to get back with your ex, bro. Do not try to get back w- with your ex. Leave her the fuck alone. Mm-hmm. If, you're, if, you're, if you're trying to get back with her because you're seeking some type of emotional or moral support, Try to talk to somebody in your family or maybe one of your homeboys or some shit like that. Don't get back with your ex, bro. Mm-hmm. Especially on the fact that she ain't giving you no sex and there's an issue with her and all this. Leave right. her the fuck alone. Guys, I don't I don't suggest long distance relationships and I don't suge- suggest going back to any female, bro. Because right. There's a reason why she's your ex. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why y'all fucking broke up. And I know this because I've done it. Right. I've gone back. Mm-hmm. And, and it still always fucks up. So don't do it. Mm-hmm. You understand? But, but here's the... Right. It, here's the complicated part, though. Um, you know, she said we're not together, and sometimes she said we we all together, but sometimes she might. Paula, you can't be thirty one. You can't be thirty one. You gotta be twenty one. Paula, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What What are you? You just told me something that a woman said. So you letting what a woman say dictate your fucking life? No. Yes, you are. You yeah. said, here, here's the complicated part. Sometimes she says we're together, and sometimes she says we're not. Right. Like what? The- <laughs> Like, call her. Isn't your relationships with women based off what you say? Yeah. Exactly. So what the fuck are you talking about? What she talking about? You see why y'all niggas need game? (laughs) 
Tell, tell, tell him straight to the camera. <laughs> you see why y'all niggas need game? All of you, all of you bitch ass fuck boys, all of you, all of you faggot ass fucks who don't believe in guys like us and think we just uh selling snake oil and you think we just bullshitting and you think we just scamming. Are you listening to these guys? Are right. you listening to the this is a 31 year old man? A 31 year old man. He got his fuck buddy pregnant after three months and he's trying to get back with his ex that won't fuck him. Mm -hmm. And and game is obsolete. Right. <laughs> exactly. Is what he's saying. So so call her. Call her. Listen, get rid of that chick. Stop talking to her. All she's doing now is using you for attention. She's loving this. She's using you. Until she finds somebody better. Exactly. Call her. Call her. Who until who finds somebody better? His, his ex is his, she probably already found somebody better, but she's she's still using you. For years. Are, are you you worried? Are you worried about her finding somebody? Nah, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so, wait, wait, let me ask you this what makes what made you want to deal with her and you're not even fucking <laughs> like what, what was that about? Call her the fact that we got like you trying to plan our future, this and that. What? Like that. Yeah, yeah, who planning That's who crazy. future? What are you talking about? Is that what she told you? That's what she she said. She said to you, "Hey, let's not have sex so we can focus on planning our future." That's what she said. Uh, no, she ain't say that. I mean, you just mainly focus on everything else. Like, so why you not fucking then? Why, why not? Why y'all can't fuck? Huh? Sexual attraction is not there for her. I guess the sexual attraction is not there for her. Uh, is that what she told you? Is that what she told you? That's what she told me at one point. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Cola, Cola, how long has it been since you fucked your ex, bro? About two months. Oh, man, what is going on in life, man? What are y'all doing? Come on, man. Cola, Cola, listen, listen, man. Let me put you out your misery. Close your eyes and turn around. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're done, bro. Listen, man, get a, get a, get a paternity test because you don't know if that baby's yours. The baby might not be yours and leave your, leave your ex alone and leave the fuck buddy alone because you fucked right. up everything. You fucked up everything, bro. Mm -hmm. Baby is yours, then handle your responsibility, pay your child support. And if she turned into a, a fucking baby mother from hell and she don't want you to see your kid, tell that kid, nigga, I'll see you when you're 18, eat a dick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because don't don't let no female fuck your life up, bro. I don't give a fuck what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's a kid involved. If she turns into the baby mother from hell, tell that child, Shorty, I'll see you when you turn 18. Your mother's a bitch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> If you tell that little nigga, hey, if you want to get a relationship with me once you turn 18, it's all good. But for now, I'm going to just pay this child support and keep it the fuck moving because I'm not dealing with your bitch ass moms. Right. You understand? And other than that, leave your ex alone. And you, you need, you, there's some things you need to do as far as working on yourself, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, look at what you're telling us. You got women planning your future for you. Right. You got people, you got women making your life complicated for you. And you're fucking, you're fucking shit's raw that you shouldn't be fucking. Dick is a gift. Look, look at this goofy in the chat talking about terrible advice by entertaining. This motherfucker looking like he got pronouns and shit. <laughs> Cola, Cola, let me ask you a question, man. What do you want, bro? What do you really want for yourself? I want to be peaceful and happy. You know what I'm saying? In a relationship, no drama, no none of that bullshit. Okay, let me tell you something, bro. <clears throat> do you love? Let me ask you a question. Do you love yourself? Uh, right now, probably not. Cause yeah, I'm yeah, exactly, happy. exactly, exactly, exactly. See, you, 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 you don't love yourself, bro. You're, there are things that you're doing. There's things that you do. Like, let me tell you something. Niggas like you, there's a lot of niggas like you out there who don't love themselves. So you know, you know why y'all niggas fuck bitches raw? Y'all niggas fuck bitches raw because you don't love yourself. Because the, the pleasure of raw pussy mm. is the only thing that brings you joy in your life because you don't love yourself. Mmm, damn. That's some real shit. <laughs> That's some real shit. Because your life doesn't feel good enough, you gotta fuck bitches raw so it can feel good. Mm -hmm. You understand that? That's that's deep, bro. Yo, I understand that. About as deep as your raw dick was in that fucking wretched <laughs> pussy. <laughs> listen, man. Listen, man. Make sure to find out if that fucking kid is yours, bro. That's your first step, okay? Leave your ex alone. Now, let me ask you a question. How are things between you and your fuck buddy, the pregnant fuck buddy? How are things between you and her as far as a relationship or, or fucking or whatever you want to call it? It's crazy, man. When was the last time you had sex? When was the last time you had sex? When was the last time you had sex? This morning. <laughs> raw? Yes. Of course, of course it was raw. He was, he's like, fuck it. He's like, she's already pregnant. Fuck it. Do you niggas know that sometime a bitch will tell you that she's pregnant so you can fuck her raw? Mm. Mm-hmm. 
I, I pulled out though. Pulled out, bro. What happened? Say it again. He said he pulled out. <laughs> She's already pregnant. Hey, Carla, Carla, you know how much it costs to raise a child till age 18? No. About three hundred to four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and that's and that's on the cheap. That's on the cheap end. Damn. That's if you. That's if you letting a little nigga go to public school and shit on some regular shit. You understand? Right. Do you have a decent job? Are you? Do you? Do you? Are you, are you at least making around fifty thousand a year? Yeah, I am, but I'm not where I want to be yet. You're not where you want to be. Yeah, yeah, bro, 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 bro. You you need to you need to bro, you need to uh you need to start to find some you need to get some game about you and you need to start loving loving yourself, bro. You need to you need to want to you need to start making decisions that's best for you. Right now you're making you making some crazy ass decisions and these bitches are these two chicks you got around you are just making your life like crazy, bro. And it works because you following them. You following them, yeah. So so all right so so the relationship is still decent between you and the fuck buddy right because y'all still fucking right No it's not So how you how did y'all end up fucking this morning how did y'all end up fucking this morning Uh I, I went over there to talk to her to like try to talk her out of it again cuz you know that's my goal and you know did she end up fucking and shit mm. and so but but what's but what's the issue with this woman like you don't like her or something like she she was she she a, is she a problem? Like what's the issue with, with this one? I feel real with you, but um, she got other kids, and like I don't want to, you know. She got other kids. You know, Damn. Kids? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold on. How many kids she got? Carla, how many kids does she have, bro? Couple. How many? Please give me a number. Two. Two. Thank oh. you. Jeez. And how and, and how old are these children, please? Wow, they're young. How old? Can I get numbers, about, please, sir? I'm about seven and two. Seven and two. Jesus, she ain't getting rid of that kid. Okay, call her, call her, call her, call her. Listen, listen. You really got to make sure that that fucking kid is yours, bro. You got to make sure that that kid is yours. You hear me? I hear you. Don't 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 turn don't 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 turn into a uh, don't fold and get scared because you don't want her get, to get mad at you and stop fucking you because if she she sound like the type of chick that if you go get a paternity test she gonna seem she gonna feel offended and she's not gonna want to fuck you and then you are gonna be mad because she ain't giving up the pussy right so you be like ah fuck it I just won't get a paternity test but I need you to get a paternity test bro uh, can you promise me that you are gonna get a paternity test. I don't know, bro. You don't know. Yeah, I guess. You so wait. So you just gonna accept that this is your kid, even though it might not be. I mean, I'm hoping that she'll still go through the the process of, you know, getting rid of it because I'm trying to convince her that it's not a good decision. <coughs> what state? What state do you live in again? Uh, I live in New York. New York. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look up New York abortion laws. Damn, bro. Yeah, listen, it ain't it's, gonna hurt you to, to find out, man. Because if it's not yours, then you ain't got you done. You good. But if it is yours, at least you know it actually is yours. All right, look. It says in New York, you can get an abortion up to and including twenty four weeks of pregnancy. So you got you got uh, you got about you got about uh wait how many weeks how many months is that that's six you got six months you got six months to oh, convince her months. you got six months to convince her but the baby might not even be yours, bro. Let me see. let me let me figure. Can you get a paternity test? Can you get paternity test while pregnant? Um. Damn, this is this is crazy. It says paternity test while pregnant with free gender using the mom's blood, safe and fast, free consultation. Oh, these are ads. Sorry. Um, it says while a postpartum paternity test is an option, there are also tests that can be conducted while you're still pregnant. DNA testing can be completed as early as nine weeks along. Mm -hmm. So, so when she's nine weeks pregnant officially, you can you, in that tenth week you can get a paternity test while she's still pregnant, bro. Mm -hmm. and how long she been pregnant for? About a month. So that's Obviously. four weeks. Mm -hmm. Actually, so, call it three weeks. Right. So, so in the next what month and a half, you know what I'm saying? You could go 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 see what's popping with that shit, man. Because because trust and believe, you 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 probably not the only dude fucking her. 
You understand what I'm saying? She got a two year old kid. She got two kids. No, no, but she got two kids, but she has a two year old kid. The right. father of the two year old kid, she might still be fucking that nigga. Right. That's why I asked the age of the kid. Because if she said that she, if he said she had two kids and one was like 10 and the other one was 15, mm. maybe. But right. the fact that she still got a, a fucking baby, because the two year old is still a fucking baby. Mm. She might still be fucking the, the father of the two year old kid. So right. that's what I'm saying. The kid might not be his, bro. Or some other random ass nigga. Or, or some other random ass nigga. Exactly. So, so Carly, you see why we're telling you to get the, the test, the paternity test? Yeah, I see why. <sighs> but she making it seem like I'm like, I'm the father. Like, it don't matter what she making yeah. it seem like. All that matters is what is. This is why you have to take the lead. You say, listen, okay, cool. Well, let's go take this test and make sure I'm the father. You see what I'm saying? Don't worry about what the fuck she's talking about. Call her, uh, call her. Where's your father, bro? Uh, she's still here. Where, where, your, your dad? Where is your father? Where is he? Well, you live in, you live in a different state. He live in a different state. Did you, did you grow up with him, or did you yeah, grow up with your mother? Yeah, yeah. No, I grew up with him. Yeah. So, yeah. have you, have you had this conversation with your father? Not yet. Man, bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, you got, you gotta listen, man. You got, you got, you got some work to do, bro. I'm telling you. Take this in. Remember, your girl, your ex girl, don't exist anymore. Take that out your mind. That's done. You understand what I'm saying? Because you you need all your energy on this particular situation because you need to find out if this is really your kid, and you better hope and pray to God it's not. But if it if it turns out it is, then you just got to you just got to do what you got to do, and then, and then move on from there. That's it. Right. All right. And and please call us. Stop yeah, stop yeah. letting stop letting what females say affect your decision making, man. You're a man, right? You're a man. You got to think about what you want and stop listening to what these females say, bro. Right. All right, man. Well, we appreciate the call, brother. Keep us posted. Keep us posted. Let us know what, what happened, man. Wait, hold up. Yeah. yeah. How do I do the the uh, miles? Uh, how do I do the uh, counseling and stuff? The counseling stuff. Go to go to go to my videos and look in the description. Or uh, uh, some of it is it's pinned to the first comment in the, in the, um in my YouTube videos. Go to my YouTube videos. Go to my YouTube channel, Miles Cunningham. Just type in Miles Cunningham on YouTube, and and uh, you'll see the Game Kings documentary as my avatar. And then just click on any one of my videos and go into the description. Mm-hmm. The the link to schedule a consultation is in the description. All right. I appreciate that. Um, y'all have a good night, man. All right, man. Hey, hey, bro, bro. Listen, bro. Keep your head up, bro. You know, you know. Try to stay confident. You know, I know, I know it's a tough situation, but and thanks for sharing your story, bro. Because you ain't the only one going through this, bro. You understand? Thanks for sharing your story. Thanks for calling in. You ain't the only one going through this, but you know, just keep your head up, bro, and, and try to do. Think of yourself. Be selfish and th- and do what's best for you, bro. You understand? Right, right, right. All right, man. Yo, Mer- Merry Christmas and all that, and Happy New Year, man. As 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 much as you could, as much as that can happen. <laughs> Man, all right, you know, bro. You know, it's interesting. It's interesting how all of our titles coincide with the callers that call it. It's like no, it subconsciously they, they look at the title and they're like, "Yo, like they talk about me," and then they call me exactly. Yo, bro, bro, bro. Like, see, y'all, y'all see, it's this is exactly what we're talking about. All his problems is whose fault? His, his, nigga. I remember I was with a chick, and one day I went to I went to initiate some sex. Mm-hmm. And she looked at me and said, "We're not doing that no more." Right? <laughs> Yo, this was a Sunday. Mm. All of my shit was out the house the following Friday. You hear me? Right, right. <laughs> I, was, I was living with her at the time. Right. And she went to go initiate some shit. And she was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "What do you mean?" She was like, "Oh, we're not doing that no more." I was like, "What?" Exactly. Right. Like, <laughs> I, yo, I didn't. No argument. No nothing. Mm-hmm. I just the following morning, I was like, "Hey, just letting you know, um, all my stuff will be out on Friday." Right. Exactly. Peace. No problem. Exactly. 